On page 5, advise and consent. If there are no objections from the members, we will be taking advice and consent on consent. Standing Committee Report Number 1428 on Governor's Message Number 512, Catherine Betts, Gubernatorial Nominee as Director of the Department of Human Services for Adoption. Is there any discussion? Senator San Buenaventura. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in strong support of the nominee. Colleagues, Please proceed. Thank you. Colleagues, two years ago, I asked you to confirm Director Betts, and I mentioned her strong history of working with it as a deputy attorney general, status of woman advisor, and her heart. Colleagues, I again ask you to join me and support her nomination to continue as director of the Department of Human Services. Kathy Betts has led the DHS through the waning days of the pandemic after Director Banat's resignation. At a time when the public increasingly relied on the Department of Human Services for food, SNAP benefits, and health Medicaid benefits, Director Betts did not shirk from the huge responsibility and led the agency well. During her term, Hawaii was the first in the country to implement pandemic EBT programs for school children who are not able to acquire school, school meals due to stay-at-home orders. Over 127,705 families were served. Hawaii's MedQuest was the first in the country to implement Medicaid eligibility for COFA residents. During her, as I said, it shows her heart. When the child care industry was dying and there did not, and it did not look like there were enough child care workers to be able to serve the working parents when they were able to get back to work, Director Betts again stepped up to the plate. She led DHS in distributing over $165 million in federal child care relief funds and child care stabilization grants to prop up a child care industry decimated during the stay-at-home orders. It is not easy to create a fair distribution process at a drop of a hat with spending deadlines, but Director Betts did so and provide child care subsidies so that there will be a child care workforce ready for parents eager to get back to work. There is more work to be done, and Director Betts, if confirmed, will step up to the challenge. During her tenure, DHS attached agencies like the Office of Youth Services was heralded nationwide for having zero girls incarcerated for a period of almost three months. No one else in the country was able to achieve this feat. Department of Human Services has the biggest budget of all the state agencies because the agency affects every one of us. And Director Betts has stepped up to the plate, ran the agency well during crisis, and she deserves a reappointment. And I ask my colleagues to join me in confirming her nomination. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion? Senator Favela. Mr. President, I stand in strong support of GM 512. Kathy Betts. Please proceed. Director Betts of the Department of Human Service. Since the time in office, I have some time working with Ms. Betts and the department. The Adult Protective Services and Community Service Branch, we needed to have some individuals, some people placed and been taken care of, of suspect of adult abuse. She supported the enforcement and the protection for Kapuna and um, valuable adult services that she provides. Um, just her ongoing compassion, um, I got to meet with her. A lot of stuff when we do these things are in confidential, but she, con she uh, assured me that um, the individual in my community was gonna be taken care of, and, 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 and he was. So again, um, colleagues, um, one of the most things that I really, um, really, like what she does on her efforts is that the involvement of missing and murdered Native Hawaiian women and girls. Going forward, and we just gotta continue to keep the momentum going. Um, colleagues, I ask you guys to join me in highly supporting um, Governor's GM 512, Kathy Betts. Thank you, Senator President. Thank you, do we have any further discussion? Are you sure the first two speakers seem to have her on the verge of tears? Just one more speech may push her over the edge. 
Do we have unanimous consent? Any no votes? Any reservations? 23 ayes. Thank you. Catherine Betts has been confirmed as Director of the Department of Human Services. Senator San Buenaventura. Thank you, Mr. President. Joining Director Betts today is her husband, Aubrey? No, oh, he's, he's not. Well, we all see a number of DHS heads here. DHS colleagues Cindy Valenti, Joseph Campos, Carrie Uesugi, Mimari Hall, Judy Moore-Peterson, Scott Morishige, Catherine Koyanaga, Daisy Hartsfield, Jennifer Muraoka, Deputy Attorney General Slyla King, and James Walter, and I see Attorney General Ann Lopez. Please, thank you, and uh, welcome to the Senate. We will adjourn in one minute, so the committee chair would like to invite you to come down to the floor after adjournment for uh, opportunity for picture taking. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. President. I was reminded that I did not introduce our director, <laughs> Kathy Betts, please stand. Thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Clerk. Referrals and re-referrals. Refer